Morning ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's get the excuses out of the way first. Um, I've not made a video for a couple of weeks and it's basically just because I've been too busy. Um, the job I've been doing has been a really long, has had a really long commute and um, I've just not really had any time to do any work on the engine or make any videos. So apologies for that. Um, but here we are. I'm getting a little bit more done just now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, check the uh, measurements for the bores um, of the VFR 800 engine and if you look in the Haynes manual and we check this page of specifications it tells me, uh, let's see, under uh, cylinder head, where are we? Just trying to find it now, bore Right, the bore should be 72 millimeters, so these should be 72 mil each. Um, so what I'm going to do again, got the digital micrometer, I'm going to power that on, I'm going to zero it, and I'm going to measure the bores. Now I'm going to measure them um, top to bottom like this rather than side to side. Reason being is that the piston slap will all happen that way. I might measure it the other way as well, but the important thing is to measure it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the the outer part of the micrometer and I'm going to measure it like that, pull it as tight as it will go so that it's right against the the edges of the bore I'm just trying to make sure actually that it's perfectly straight that looks fine so I'm going to take that out and as you can see we've got 71.63 mil so just a really a smidge under 72 so that seems fine um, so I'm going to zero it and I'm going to do the next one Okay, 71.5 half a mil smaller than it should be so the fact that they're measuring a little bit smaller suggests to me that um, that when they say 72 mil in the Haynes manual that must be a rounded number because obviously the bores can't have shrunk, I can't see how they would have shrunk so it must have come from the factory at around about 71.5mm uh, I would say um, just out of interest I'm actually just going to measure them this way as well I think and we'll just see what what kind of number we get ok 71.59 so 0.41mm uh, under what it should be under what the Haynes manual says so again seems pretty spot on um, so I'll try this one right, so that's come out 71.87 so it's really really close um, so it seems pretty healthy um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that turn it round and we'll do the same thing on this side <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Powered it on, make sure it's zeroed. Same thing, same thing again. Make sure it's at the widest part of the bore. Make sure it's it's straight. Whoops. Right there we go, and that's tight against the edge. And we'll have a look. Seventy-one point five seven. Perfect. Zero it again. Okay. Not sure what happened there. I think I must have forgotten to zero it. Try again. Seventy one point six nine or seventy, it's near enough. Um we'll just do the same thing this way as well. Seventy one point six three zero it. Seventy one point six three. Spot oops, just zero it there, never mind. Right, um so that's great. Um all seems fine. Um so what we're going to do is we're just going to have a little look at the actual bores themselves um, and see what sort of general condition they're in. Um, as you can see there's still, a, I don't know if this really shows in the video, but um, there's, a, there's a, an actual cross hatch that's showing um, on those bores still. So the fact that you can see the cross hatch suggests to me that really that there's more or less zero wear 
on these bores um, so that's pretty encouraging um, again we'll have a look at these on this side and again you can see the cross hatch there again I'm not sure if you can see it in the video um, but it, in, in person it's quite clear that there's still cross hatch there uh, and the bores feel good I mean they're, they're kind of smooth um, and so that all seems pretty good um, the cross hatch essentially is what's created by the bore hone um, so in the factory they'll they'll hone the bores once the engine's been cast they'll run a bore hone through it and um, that puts the that basically makes it perfectly kind of smooth and round um, and it leaves what's called a cross hatch which is basically these kind of like they kind of look like I said I don't know if you can see this in the video but they kind of look like scratches going kind of one way and scratches kind of going the other way and they sort of like interlock and that's referred to as cross hatch um, so I don't really think there's any problem with with this it all looks pretty healthy so I'm quite happy with that the next stage I think is going to be to paint this um, I think I've got some uh, engine enamel left over from the previous project from the CBR 900 that I did last year so I'll probably just put that on it I'll probably just do it in silver um, so that's going to be kind of the next job and then after that it's going to be a case of like buying parts and starting to reassemble it um, so that's pretty much it for the moment um, thanks very much for watching